All right, we're back. Hmm. And hopefully all the audio's fine. But, uh, because we, we did a little adjustment since last time. But, but, I just noticed that sign, Sweet Factory. It sounds delicious. But, uh, yeah, we, we're in the amusement park, all right? We, we, we fought our way here, and is that an item? Like, hold on, hold on. Is that an item right there? That, that looks like an item I should be able to pick up. Yeah, look at that. We got the roller coaster key. I didn't even notice that last time. That didn't even see it. All right. So we just started in on the amusement park. Uh, I I kind of forget if there even is a map for this place or not. There may just not be a map. The amusement park is is interesting like that, but. Let's uh, let's check our health, all that good stuff first. So we're in the blue on health. I will I will put on my bulletproof vest because you know I'm probably gonna get smacked around a little bit as I try to to get things done. And as for weapons, I'm just gonna stick I'm just gonna stick with the trusty steel pipe. It it really works for me. Got four health drinks, five aid kits, and four ampules. I. I have to say this, these ampules, they, they really hand them out like candy in Silent Hill 3. You, you, don't, you don't get nearly as many, I feel like, in Silent Hill 1. And for bullets, I'm a, I'm a little low, except on submachine gun. I, I've got plenty of that. Anyway. So if there's nothing more in here... Let's let's get back out there and there's there's a plenty o monsters. All right, plenty o monsters. Also, I like that candy corn Illuminati right there input. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Oh yeah. It's it's fun times out here, huh? Okay, doors are locked. Mountain coaster get <laughs> Okay, well, I want to go in the mountain coaster. Let, let me in the mountain coaster. <laughs> oh, I want to go to Fun Mountain. Okay. And immediately, just enemies everywhere. Bottomless pits. All, all the goodies. Loud noises. <laughs> okay, okay. We, we have a second to think. But not, not too many seconds. Not too many seconds to think here. Like what what even is that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> the sound oh god the sounds they make. So no, we're just trying to get to the mountain coaster. It's time to go to Fun Mountain. Alright, uh Use the roller coaster key. Okay, we're safe in here, I think. I No, we are not safe. There is no such thing as safe. Safe doesn't exist. No, no such thing as safety here, okay? So, wait, wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. I feel like this might be a bad idea. I don't know. Like, well, first off, I want to check and see if there's anything over here. Like, I feel like there might be more things around here. I don't know. Uh... Okay, what's this? Some gadget to control the roller coaster. I don't know how to make it work. There's a power switch on the left-hand side. Well, it's being left on. Turn it off. Okay. So, so here's the here's the thing. Okay. And also, do tell me if the game is too loud now, because that's. I mean, those things. The sound those guys make is. Oh, nails on chalkboard. I'll just leave that going for you. But, but um, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that if we just walked onto the roller coaster tracks, all right? If we just walked onto the roller coaster tracks with the with the roller coaster on, I'm pretty sure we would have gotten slammed by the coaster, instant death, game over. So yeah, we're good now. All right. We're good now. 
because okay, you you remember early on in the game when you first start, you you remember how you know Heather's on the roller coaster tracks and bad things happen. It's it's bad times for everyone involved. Well, yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Roller coaster on. Quick dodge roll. <laughs> Could have been more graceful. Could have been. I hired you to find the girl. And you performed serviceably. What is it now? You lied to me about Heather, lady. I don't like being used. Lie? What lie? That Heather was kidnapped from you. But it's true. She was originally one of us. That man, Harry Mason, stole her away and kept her hidden from us. Yeah, but she says she was happy. She was brainwashed by him. Deceived, because her true self had not yet awoken. She carries God within her. But when Alessa, mother of God, truly awakens... Yeah, what's gonna happen? She will usher in the eternal paradise. <laughs> what kind of place is that? A place with no pain, no hunger, no sickness, no old age. There will be no greed or war, and all will live by God's grace alone. No this, no that, no nothing. A paradise for castrated sheep, maybe. Sounds pretty boring. I pity you. You still don't understand. You're going to kill me? Is it really so easy for you? I've done it before. Then I truly do pity you. Well, Douglas is having a nice little showdown there. And and hey there, Bloom and Trinitus. I, I seize you. <laughs> oh, hey, look. We, we landed gracefully right on top of the popcorn machine. Hmm. Trinitus. Uh oh. <clears throat> but, uh, anyhow. Lighter things. Bunnies! D d weird looking bunnies and cats. So, wait, is th this isn't the popcorn machine. It, l it looks kind of like the popcorn machine, but it's. Wait, what is it? There's a ticket booth, but there's nothing unusual about it. Alright. Well, I, I guess we do need to buy a ticket. Got, you know, it must be this tall to ride, right? What's this? Oh, it's the Borley Haunted Mansion. But uh, be before we go in the Borley Haunted Mansion, uh, can I read the little sign? There's nothing written on it. It's probably supposed to have the ride's wait time on it or something. Well, is there anything else we can do in the area? And also, I just, I just remembered, there is a definite reason why we should take the we should really take that bulletproof vest off just just saying should, should really take that thing off so i like to check and make sure that you know there's there's no goodies hidden about so it's a popcorn wagon nothing very interesting about it popcorn doesn't look right 
I won't be having any. Wouldn't need anything here. So yeah, that's we know all about the bad popcorn. But uh, doesn't doesn't look like there's anything else here. Except, you know, lots of lots of endless abysses if if we fall off the side of this thing. But uh, no no save points or nothing, huh? No save points. And no maps either. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure in daylight it's yeah, look, just just get some daylight up in here and it's it's perfect. So hey, let's go to the haunted Hey guys, do do you like woo spooky haunted houses? Oh. Well, let's let's do it. It is October month after all. Hmm. Yeah, Borley Haunted Mansion. Time to time to see the sights. Hmm. Nothing nothing much out here, but there is a save point and any items, any items. No, I Okay, before I use that save point, I'd just like to check around. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. There's uh there's there's no no no, no hidden items, but uh are those pumpkins? Like hold on, are are these pumpkins scattered about? I I do believe they are. I do believe those are some some spooko lanterns. Oh. I look, who would who would have known this is the most October month game ever? <laughs> All right, let's let's overwrite that save. Let's let's do it. Okay, in into the haunted mansion. Welcome to the Borley Haunted Mansion. We're so glad you came. Please come inside and look around. When you feel you're ready, then go through the door. All right, so hey, look, we've even got a friendly narrator for this. Let's do it. I am I am here to be immersed in the spooks. Help! Help! Do you hear those voices? A family of four was sliced into bloody pieces in this room. Oh, the cries of the children. The murderer was caught. Do you know why he said he killed his family? Because I felt I had to! Anyway, I'm lying. It's all just a joke. I wanted to scare you, that's all. The truth is, only one person died. By suicide. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> so, uh, oh, hey, Heather's even got some things to say. So that whole family murder thing was just made up. But if that's true, how do you explain all the blood in this room? Could it be that the guy who committed suicide really did kill a bunch of people? Oh, how could I be so stupid? This is a haunted mansion. Of course it's all made up. What was I thinking anyway? <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, it's 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 just a really cheesy haunted mansion. Just <laughs> ever so so we're dealing with we're dealing with fake scares within an actual horror game. Yeah, let's do it. Hmm. Now look at that. So, hmm, I wonder, I wonder. <laughs> oh, input. All right, so let's just not mind that, all right? Let, never you mind, never you mind. So eager to meet you. 
His hometown is New Orleans, but he came here after first losing his way. Oh, maybe you might know. Where is the path to heaven? Hmm. So let's see what Heather has to say. Like, so there's a doll sitting in a chair. Is Danny the doll? Or is Danny that hanging thing? Oh well, whatever. No biggie. No, just no biggie. So, uh... Jeez, it's real. This is a real dead body hanging here. I don't think they meant for this to be part of their attractions. Who would have done this? So... So yeah. So yeah, we've got... <laughs> we, we've got a... Uh, yeah, the the Spooktober doll over there, right? Just ooh, but but then there's an actual dead body hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, I like it. I like it. So now there's a door right here, which I don't think w I didn't notice it at least when I when I came around here the first time. This mansion is quite old, so please. Watch your step. Sometimes the floor suddenly gives way. And beneath, I'm oh. so sorry. This place is just falling apart. Mm. The mechanism is broken, you see. It wasn't supposed to stop there, I assure you. So yeah, the good old spike ceiling. Good old spike ceiling. Now here's here's a fun thing. If I recall correctly, on the, uh, like, on, on the harder difficulties, I'm pretty sure the spike ceiling actually kills you. I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, on, on hard, on the harder difficulties, the, no, the spike ceiling actually murders There's you. There's the exit. I hope you enjoyed your tour. Please come back anytime. Or, if you'd prefer, we could come and visit you instead. Ooh, spooktobery. Well, time to so time to leave the mansion and um so here's the thing. Uh what is to come it it might be better for me to have tank controls for it, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. All right, I'm going to try and do it, try and keep my control scheme the same. Uh, let's let's do it. Oh boy. The red light. I have to agree with her. Okay. The yeah, the red light, that's death. Alright. Red red light equal death. You don't you, you gotta just keep running. <laughs> and this is where having anything other than tank controls is actually a little bit of a problem. Alright. You gotta, you gotta constantly keep shifting around your, your controls. Uh. Okay, I made it. I made it. So we're, we're back out in the amusement park. That was a, that was a fun little distraction, wasn't it? A, a fun little haunted, a, a spooky mansion thing. Oh, I, I I will say this. I never I never fully played Downpour. Uh, d downpour was like d Downpour was a thing that like I picked up for a bit, and then other things came up, and I just never got around to finishing it. And I didn't really have any urge to. So so yeah, I, I I'll just say I didn't really play Downpour. Like if if a game fails like if a Silent Hill game fails to hold my interest and I am so easily amusable like something's wrong <laughs> anyway let's see what can I do here oh hey look there's a fun fun amusement ride there's no time to start playing around no time to play around but but I want to ride the rides I want no no there's no time no, no time for riding rides Locks, locks busted. Doesn't open. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep moving. Keep moving with my bulletproof vest on. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I love I love those things. Nope, that's that is just bottomless pit. Dead dead rabbit thing. Uh, keep moving, keep moving. No time to look at anything. All right, I I know you want to explore, but there's no time. There's just no time. All right, health drinks and shotgun shells. Hmm. There's a flyer for some kind of musical for kids. Hmm. It looks like they did it on this stage. This place is empty now, but I'll bet it was packed that day. Huh. Okay, well, you know, let's let us explore. All right, it's a new area and I don't hear monsters. Hmm. So, just a just a nice little stage here. Yep, it's all about that musical. Hmm. It's a nice little area here where there's just, you know, no no real no real enemies to worry about, so you can just explore. Huh. What's this? It's about Huey the Horse, one of the park's mascots. But that's a lot of information that I really don't need right now. Oh, but don't don't you want to learn? Don't you don't you want to learn about Huey the Horse? I do. Oh, I, I guess it'll have to wait. You know, we'll have to come back during regular business hours. All right. Well, let's let's keep moving. Where's the, where where is exit? Where where is exit? Hmm. Well, there there's the stage here. Yeah, this, the stage is nice. What's this? It's about Don the Duck, one of the park's mascots. Yeah, too much, too much information. So we have Don the Duck and Huey the Horse. So, where did I... Okay, this is where I came in, right? I'm pretty sure I came in here. Wait, wait, what's that? What is this? It's about Kathy the Kitty, one of the park's mascots. So you got Huey the Horse, Don the Duck, and Kathy the Kitty. <laughs> Uh, hey there, Sierra, and and yes, Mer Merry Spookmas to you too, Mer Merry Spookmas. Which I'm, like, I I'm gonna celebrate my Halloweens with candies and also candies and some XCOM Terror from the Deep. That's that's my that's my October. <laughs> That, that October month celebration. So, let's see. I I guess there's really nowhere else to go in here, is there? I... Wait, is that another mascot? Oh, uh, yeah, that one's about Robbie the Rabbit. Well, we know... We know all about Robbie the Rabbit. That one... That one we know about. So, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't seem to be anything... Was that... Was that there before? I guess I could have missed it, right? I got a red shoe. Like I I swear that wasn't there before. I Like like okay, okay. I I swear that was not there. But I guess I was wrong. <laughs> oh, nice Sierra. Oh, ho hocus pocus with with a loved one. Always fun times. Uh. <laughs> I've already I've already shared my like all of my spooky movies with Donna, so we we got that out of the way. <laughs> oh boy, look at this. Look at all this nonsense. What's that? Oh, what is that big ride over there? I don't know. I don't want to get pushed to hey, hold on. I don't want to get pushed off of off a cliff, so is there nothing else to do in here?
it, it looks like there's nothing else to do over here, so, uh... Ow. Yeah, let, let's... Let, let's leave this section. Oh, look, I took a little bit of damage, oh. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, Sierra getting some fireworks, which I, I don't usually associate fireworks with Halloweens, but, like, that's that's good, too. That's good, too. Everyone should be able to enjoy some good fireworks any time of year. <laughs> but, like, hey, look, I... You know, I... Hey, I'm in Virginia, so, like, I we can, we can buy fucking explosives. So, you know, fireworks are always on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Just shoot some actual rockets off. Mm. Any time of year, it's always good. Mm. So, oh, oh goodness, they can they can come up here. All right, so I. Yeah, everything is locked. Cannot cannot do. It kind of looked like there was an item in there. It it kind of looked like there was an item sitting in this. Uh, in this little booth, but, uh, yeah, like, look, doesn't that look like a, an ammo's? Doesn't that look, look like, that looks like some ammo's right there, but I, I can't pick it up. I can't get to it, but that totally looked like ammo to me. Okay, I think this is where I came in. I think this is where I just came from last, right? So... So let's see if we can find another exit. Have I been down this way? N not sure. Is this where I came from? I don't know. Again, there's no there's no map. There is no map of the amusement park, so I don't know where I've been and where I haven't been. Maybe this is uh maybe this is the exit. I, I think this is the exit from the haunted mansion. So you, you leave the haunted mansion and then you go you go through here. Okay. So let's try taking a right. Let's see where that puts me. Okay, there's can't go that way. Cannot cannot go that way. I wonder if I'm just missing something. I I must be missing something. So Okay, this is, uh, that's, that's the rabbit thing. Okay, okay. Can't do anything with that. Didn't take damage. No damage taken. So, okay. Uh, there has to be something else we can do. There, uh, there's gotta be somewhere else we can go. That one, okay, that's locked. Oh, I was trying... I really, I feel like there's, I feel like there's ammo in that little shack, but I just can't, I can't get to it. it it's maddening. Maybe I should just kill the dog. Maybe I should just kill it. I could do that. Eh. Alright, it doesn't look like there's anywhere to go in here, so, so the only place that we can go, only place is right in here. This is this is the end of this is the end of the line right here, so there's gotta be something I'm missing. Um now there's there's a couple of enemies in here that are that are gonna be fun to deal with. I may just wanna shotgun them. May just wanna do that. Alright, well that just, just get rid of them for right now. There we go. But hey, look, I gotta gotta rack up my my kill count here. All right. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Heather wants to reload. Alright, and also I'm glad I'm wearing that bulletproof vest. I'm very glad I'm wearing it. <laughs> Alright, they're all down. Let's, let's kick them while they're down. Just 
deal with that problem. All right, all right. They're all they're all done with life. So now, now I have a I, I've got some some room to breathe. Okay, I have a little room to breathe. And I don't think I've ever used the stun gun because I, the stun gun is a hard weapon to make it work right. So it's a real hard weapon to make it work because it's it's a melee weapon that requires ammo, and it's not a very good one either. <laughs> But, uh, so now you can, you can kind of get a decent look at the enemies, um, I don't think we've ever really had a close-up look at these guys. It's hard to even make out exactly what they are. Like, hold on, it's, yeah, it's a little difficult to make out what they are exactly, but they, they've got, like, I don't know, they're just like a, a fleshy lump with a head on the top and a head on the bottom. And then just spinny blade things. That's that's what they are. All right. So I wanted to have a better look around this area. So let's see. There's no little doors around the sides here. Nothing, nothing like that, huh? Well, we we got the the ride over here, but but it's a little inaccessible right now. <laughs> and you know it is a shame uh Sierra like you know you miss you miss out on all kinds of fun stuff from from the 90s although this is like a well 2000s game but still the like the I, I would say this the 90s and the the 90s and the very early 2000s were a really good time for survival horror but you know too you can't can't be too young to play that stuff I got a chain that's nice. I wonder what I can do with some red slippers and a chain. Hmm. All right, but there's there's got to be more, right? There has to be a little bit more around here. I wonder what does Heather have to say about the chain? All right, it has hooks on both ends. Looks pretty sturdy. Hmm. So I have to think about what I can do with a chain with hooks on both ends. I, I I gotta really think about what I can do with that. I honestly don't remember, so we'll, we'll have fun figuring it out. And I just want to make sure there is really no way to progress in here. It's gotta be the ride. There has to be something that we can do with that ride, like maybe, maybe hook a chain onto one of the little cars in it and then hook the other chain onto something else. Hmm. Well, no, there were, like, Bloom, there were a lot of adventure games uh, in the 90s, you know, and RTSs, but also, there were a lot of, like, in the mid-90s, in the mid-90s to late-90s, there were a lot of survival horror games. A lot of them. It was, it was a really good era for that. And RPGs, too. Like, I, I would say some of the, the better RPGs from that era. <laughs> Oh boy, enemies have respawned. Oh yay. So hey look, it's like it, it's like killing them didn't even matter. You know, ain't that nice. It, it's it's like it's it's like, you know, combat doesn't matter almost. Although now the enemies just seem to be gone. Wait, could it be rusted? I'm not strong enough to budge it no matter how much I pull. A winch or something might do the trick. Okay. So yeah, there's our clue. I attach the chain to the door handle. This half is fine. Better do something with the other half though. Okay, so let's maybe attach the other half to like, to one of these cars? Or, or maybe to the, to the thing here, this column here. Wouldn't that work? Okay, yeah. I attach the chain to the column. So, all right, we, we have a chain on a column. So now I guess we need to make this... Th so yeah, I, I, I said, right? I said that it looked like there were, there were goodies in here, but I, I had no way to get to them. 
plot. It it was all a matter of the plot. <laughs> okay, let's turn it on. Time to have some fun. Yay! We solved the puzzle. So, I, I guess we broke the ride, and now... Yeah, now we can get in. Douglas! You're late. Are you hurt? Can't move my right leg. It's broken. I'll call an ambulance. What? I don't think we'll go. Don't worry. I'm used to it. You... You, you old fool! Getting yourself hurt like that? Sorry. Why did you have to do that for me? What'll I do if you die? What'll we do if this god thing gets born? <laughs> Come on. How powerful could a god from a dump like this be? <sighs> I'm sure it'll be no big deal. Yeah, but anyway, something's gonna happen. Uh, who knows? Maybe we'd all be better off if it did. But if this is our God of Mercy axe, I don't want to see any more of it. That's a pretty good reason to risk my life, don't you think? Plus, I'm just an old fool, right? You think you're Superman or something? You know, I always wanted to be him. Besides, yeah. I want to help you out. You don't have to feel responsible. I know it's not your fault. You, you remind me of my son. You said nobody was going to cry for you. Dead people don't cry. Stupid kid got himself shot robbing a bank. But why? his pop was a penniless good for nothing. Who knows? Anyway, now I guess I'll never find out. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said you reminded me of a guy like that. <laughs> well, maybe if you had compared me to your daughter. <laughs> Listen. I'll take care of the rest. You stay here and I'll be back when it's over. You'll be okay by yourself. Hey, no problem. <sighs> Besides, my dad's not around anymore. So only I can do this. A nice little moment there but uh, I have to say I I feel like this scene always kind of it always maybe confused me a little bit because I I never really felt like uh, like Heather and Douglas had any sort of a special relationship you know like for for half of the game 
she didn't even know who he was, and it was like a get away from me kind of thing. And then he he drove her to Silent Hill, and they suddenly got really buddy buddy, and now they're they're having these tender moments. I it felt a little bit rushed. Anyway, it's a rabbit under a popcorn stand. Rabbit's all smashed up. Car seems pretty heavy. What happened to the person inside? But uh, also, if we turn around here. So, so this is this is actually kind of a rarity um, in in Silent Hill. Generally, when you have like a cutscene with a person, uh, th the person is you know like you leave the area and you never talk to them or see them again. But no, he's just right here, just just right there, and you you, you can talk to him again. What is it? I just came by to make sure you were still alive. Sorry. I'd come with you if I wasn't hurt. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the problem with older guys, huh? I'll handle things. You just rest. So yeah, if if you just left after the first cutscene, you would you would never uh, you'd never get that. But yeah, you can go back and talk to him again. All right, well let let us progress. And I do. I think she made a little subtle pass at him. You know, like the problem with older guys. Like I. Their relationship is strange. How about that? Let's let's say that the relationship between Heather and Douglas is a little confusing sometimes. So uh, let's see. We have Fortune House over here. Hmm. What what awaits us in Fortune House? Well, they've got a spooky skull on the table. Hey, I got a doll head. Anything else in here? It doesn't look like it. So we got a crystal ball right in the middle of the the red save circle. This symbol usually looks unnatural and weird, but here it sort of seems to fit in. It still makes me feel creepy though, like someone peeking into my brain. Yeah, which also, you know, Bloom... <laughs> D Douglas has a lot of I feel like Douglas has enough backstory to make I feel like Douglas has enough backstory to make another Silent Hill spin-off, you know? Like in instead of getting instead of getting a Silent Hill spin-off with a trucker, w w let's get one with Douglas, right? Anyway. Ah, nice. Some some literature. Client, Claudia Wolf, request, searching for then-infant Alessa Gillespie, kidnapped by man named Harry Mason. No word from police, kidnap location unknown. Old Silent Hill newspaper article, Alessa Gillespie, 7, de dead in fire. Links to current case, to be investigated, priority low. Using alias Heather, neighbors do not know real name. What is she hiding? So I got Douglas's notebook. Hmm. All right. Yeah, look, look, probably Douglas's notebook. Can't forget to give it back later. So we can't we can't use the because like, OK, your immediate thought is, well, let's 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 run back and give him the notebook right now. Uh, well, you can only examine it. You can't use it, so it, it's just an item, nice little item to have. All right, so what what are we entering into here? Okay, the 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 march and travel. Okay, let's do it.
Oh, this looks, uh, this looks real friendly. Real friendly. And, uh, there's some things on the floor here. Like, if you, if you look down, it, it looks like there's, um, some maybe bodies under the floor. It's a Snow White doll. It's a Cinderella doll. Okay, well, I wonder, is this where we... Yeah. Oh, input. <laughs> Always with the jump scares. So, okay, we put the red shoe at Cinderella's feet. And, uh... She doesn't seem to have anything to do. But, uh... Well, we use the red slipper. Yay. Hmm, so what else? What, what else is there to do around here? I think. There's no knob and no handle on the door. The door is shut tight and won't budge, no matter how hard I push. <laughs> uh, input, you scared Sierra! Oh hey, look, there's photos on the ground. What's this? Huh. Are these photos of those dolls? Cinderella on the left and Snow White on the right, but there's something's wrong. Hmm. Well, I I I don't have that many items, so uh I I guess give her the doll head? There we go. All right, put the doll head on Snow White's hand. So, that's that's the puzzle. That's that's the puzzles. Hmm. Oh no! A dinosaur! A spooky dinosaur or dragon. I don't know. I'd like to think it's a T-Rex. <laughs> yes, I, I I know it's supposed to be like fantasy exhibit here, you know, with Cinderella and all that, but like no, I'd like to think that right next to Cinderella and Snow White, that there's just a T-Rex in there, all right? <laughs> this is the dragon that guards the treasure chest. It's just a prop and not scary at all. Oh, we, we, can't, we can't take the props. Oh boy. Yep, immediately. Im immediate threat of death. <laughs> What's this? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Like this. So this this looks like the this looks like the notes that uh, that Harry used to save in the first game. Also in the amusement park. Dolly is the one who said it. Said that girl was a demon. That she took my daughter for a sacrifice. But it's not totally believable. I mean, appearances can be deceiving. When I saw that photo in the hospital basement, I thought, that girl looks like Cheryl. Is that why I feel this way? Something's not normal anyway. Nothing good will come of this, but I just can't think of her as a demon. Is it my imagination, or do I actually feel sorry for her? Why do I feel like she's looking for someone to help? Hmm... Cheryl's what's important to me. Everything else can wait until I've gotten her back. There's a date and a signature at the end. It's dated some 17 years earlier and signed by Harry. Dad? Hmm. Alright, so we got some items. And I don't want any ice cream. No, no ice cream for me, thanks. But yeah, like this this is actually um like that little, you know, ice cream stand there. I I I do believe, I do believe that this is actually where uh I think like Harry went to this exact same place in Silent Hill 1. So hey, it's a callback. I like it. I like it when you get callbacks like that. So oh, it's nice and quiet in here.
Oh, we're in for fun times. Yes, we are. Okay, well, first off, uh, so I know what's to come, and I'm thinking, okay, what's the best way to handle this one? Uh, let's go with, let's see, how long, okay, how long does it take to swing the mall? All right, I, I want to use the mall more for boss fights, so uh, to actually swing this goddamn thing. <laughs> Okay, it's not it's not that slow. We'll try it out. Let's go for a ride. Hmm. The only one's not moving because it was stabbed in the head. So here's what we do. Yeah, we gotta kill the horses, alright? Oh, God. So, yeah. Yeah, this, this is a boss fight. So just... It, just a nice little carousel with, you know, dead horses on hooks. There you go. But... So here's the thing, this this carousel is gonna, it's gonna wind down, alright? And when this carousel winds down, we just drop dead. So, yeah, gotta, gotta kill every single horse. Oh god. I, I think the mace is the quickest way to do this, I'm not sure. Oh no, I missed. Positioning. Okay, okay, we're we're, we're pounding them out in a timely fashion. We just gotta smash the horses. Although I gotta say, I love the look of all this. Like this is. I mean, come on, creepy carousel with, with actual, just, like, all the horse things are just, you know, hooked and bloody, like, yeah, that looks awesome to me. So, I think I killed all of them. I, I think I got all of them. Okay. They're going again. Alright, alright, we're good. So, so now it's time for a real boss fight. Yeah, time for for Shadow Heather, D Dark Heather. Okay, okay. So uh, the mace is gonna be a little bit too slow for this fight. All right. So I'm gonna put my bulletproof vest on because it can be difficult to dodge her, and uh, the katana. I'm gonna go with the katana here. Hmm. Oh, God. All right, maybe not the katana. I, I need to I need to pick the best weapon here. All right. So, uh, let's go with... Let's try the pipe. Let's 
try that pipe out. Does this work? It works. It works well enough. Okay, where is she going? Where does she go? Let's see how much we can cheese out the combat here. <laughs> So she she's good at blocking, all right. All right, all right. So yeah, the the issue with this fight is she's she can block and she's pretty good at it. So hmm, katana might be good. Let's let's maybe go for let's go for the handgun, right? Oh, she's got a gun too. Okay, so she's she's wielding a gun now as well. Um. And if she's going gun, it might be better to go katana then. Hmm. So yeah, it's it's all about like okay, what works? What what works out here? I don't think I've ever actually tried the mall in this fight, so I would like to try it. I'd like to give that mall a shot. Okay, hold on. I I can't lose sight of her cuz cause, cause she can shoot. So Hmm. I I think this weapon's going to be a little a little too slow. I, I think the mace is gonna be just a a little too clunky for this fight. <laughs> I wanna I wanna use it, but but I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think the mace I don't think the mace is gonna work out too good for me here. <laughs> I really want to give the mace a a proper shot, but it. it well, let's let's go with the let's go with the pistol again. And and yes, she can block bullets. All right, she can, she can totally block bullets like a champ. <laughs> so suddenly the game kind of becomes this this fight kind of makes the game turn into something very different because now we're now we're having to take cover behind objects and we're having a little gunfight here it's okay she's got the lead pipe yeah okay, I want to I want to get more aggressive with this fight but blocking which I can block too all right blocking is a two-way street Let's wait for her to make a swing. <laughs> and oh, I've got to reload. Wait for it. Okay. So what? What? What's she gonna come at us with next? What? What she got? What? Uh, oh, I think that's the. Uh, I do believe that's the SMG. I, I do believe that is SMG fun times. All right, I I need to check my bullets. How many how many bullets do I have for this thing? I only have 15 shots actually. I'm I'm actually getting a little low on bullets. Um let's switch over to the shotgun. Or the SMG, you know, we could Hey, look, we could let's let's fight SMG with SMG, right? Uh-oh, got to reload. Got to reload. The uh the the SMG, it it the ammo goes real fast for that thing. Hey, look at that. I'm almost out of I'm almost out of bullets for it already. Already. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That 
that's an ouch. <laughs> so, okay, let's switch back over to the handgun. We, we got this. All right. Uh oh, I got got to reload. Okay, that's a victory. It's a fun fight. So yeah, yeah. After that nice, intense boss fight where we, you know. We just unloaded almost all of our ammo for everything. Uh, I, I think the only weapon that I have... Uh, let me let me switch back to the pipe. I think the only weapon that I still have... That I still have uh, proper ammo for is the shotgun. I, I still have... An, I have enough shotgun shells, but uh, everything else is kind of... Kind of spent. So, yeah, all the... All the horses have been, uh, I guess, body bagged over here. So, hmm. Al although, wait, wait. If we look at them, they, uh, they just have the regular poles going through them now. They, they, they no longer have hooks going through their back. So now we have a little message. It would be better for myself to die. After all, it's nothing to be afraid of. That child, the the demon, when I think of the endless pain it will bring when it is birthed, I decided that instead of the suffering and cruelty I endured in that sick room, that I would like to bestow a more gentle and peaceful death on myself. Why do I resist? I never thought of myself as such a fool. Alessa, I guess it's kind of strange for me to call you that, since you are me. But you know what? You and I don't think alike after all. And it's not that I don't remember that sick room either. So yeah, we got we got a little message to ourself. For, from ourself. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh that's that's the, the carousel, the merry-go-round. It's, it's fun. And now, okay, hold on. Hold up. So now we're done with the amusement park. And, uh, which, by the way, we're just physically in a different location now. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's just a big old fleshy hole. Let's, let's get on in there. Oh, hear, hear that squish, squishiness. Okay. Oh, hey, look, another another memo. Stained by the evils of this world, we hold our sorrows within us. Only you can heal us these wounds. Each morning, afternoon, evening, and night, we call out your name and pray for the day of the miraculous descent. Oh, goodness, the... The the convergence, I mean unification, I mean miraculous descent. There's, there's always some some big ritual, right? I give to you unreservedly my body and eternal soul. Whatever darkness may befall me, I will endure with you beside me. Hmm. Lots, lots of notes in here. Lots, lots and lots of notes. But we're reading them all. As proof of your miraculous power, guide our obedient and willing souls to the road of paradise. O oh Lord, we will not give in to the power of temptation as long as we have you in our hearts. Oh Lord, save us with your compassion. Oh Lord, show, shower us with your blessings. Oh Lord, favor us with your abundance. So I, I think, yeah, we're we're no longer in in amusement park. Welcome, welcome to the church. And look, I've always wondered, like, what is over here? Why, why even put that there? If there's no, you can't go there. But like, what does it mean, right? Don't worry about it. That's what it means. 
Oh, hey, some, some more. There's something written on the door. This door is the gate which leads to the road to paradise. Embrace the bosom of the Holy Mother. Admit your sins and be forgiven. Eternal tranquility can be yours. All right, let's go in. judgment and atonement and eternity of bliss. Oh, Alessa, the world you wanted is nearly here. That's not what I want. Not you. Alessa, your true self. But I am Alessa. My little Claudia, my dear, sweet sister. Alessa, is it you? Oh, how I've missed you. I don't need another world. It's fine the way it is. But you said it yourself. The world must first be cleansed with fire. But that's not what I want now. Alessa, don't you want happiness? Have you become blind to all the hopeless suffering in the world? We need, we all need God's salvation. Listen, suffering is a fact of life. Either you learn how to deal with that or you go under. You can stay in your own little dream world, but you can't keep hurting other people. Besides, I'll never forgive you for hurting my father. I wish only for the salvation of mankind. But for that to happen, the world must first be remade. And for that, we need God. You self-righteous witch! No one asked you to help! Nice little show down there, although I I have a little issue with... So, okay, I, I like when Heather comes in and, you know, like, holds the gun up and, and just out of nowhere she's like, checkmate, and... That, like, that would have had some impact if, I don't know, if Claudia had been making, I don't know, chess puns or something, but... But no, it's just out of nowhere, you know? Like... She might as well have come in, held up the gun, and said, Yahtzee! Jenga! <laughs> Alright? I'm just saying, it, it would have had the same impact because it had no context anyway. So there's a little save circle here. Also, I've kind of wondered, like, why, why is it that Claudia is the only one here that has an English accent? Because... No, no one else in Silent Hill has has an English accent, so it's kind of it's kind of weird. Yeah, Uno, there you go. Just just bust the door down, Uno. All right, I got the Eye of Night tarot card. Those good old those good old Arcana cards. 
All right, so what do we got? There's a bunch of things to see in the church here, but no, none of it's really very consequential. So we have six, faith. So God hasn't been lost. We must offer our prayers and not forget our faith. We wait in hope for the day when the path to paradise will be opened. So these, like, all of these are just kind of little, I don't know, things about their strange religion, but I, none of it has any consequence or meaning to anything we're about to do, so. Hmm. Yeah, they're just, just fun, fun portraits, really. But, uh, so we came in. We came in right here, all right? Uh... Let's see, is there a map anywhere around here? That's that's always my first thought. Is there a map? Doesn't look like there's a map anywhere. <laughs> I'll say, hey there, Jesus. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, do, doesn't look like there's any maps for us. This is where I need to be. There's no reason to go back to the amusement park. So, So that's where I came in then. Okay, so yeah, that's that's where I came from. Ignore the giant door. Only way to go is forward. Ooh, hey, this looks like a map over here. I know a map when I sees one. Oh boy, it's the best map. This, man, the, the map quality has really gone down. <laughs> Got me a church map. All right, and turn my flashlight back on. So, so yeah, this, this will be our map that we use for this area. So we have where we entered, the save circle. Um, yeah, chapel. And there's, you know, there, there's the bunny rabbit. The, the big house, so the, the the sun, you know, keep keep in mind not to go into the sun. All right, here we go. Let's. I think there's something to do here. I have the feeling that there's someone on the other side of this door, but the door is shut tight, and I can't open it no matter how hard I try. Hmm. What's all this now? Dear God, please forgive me. I know I'll be put to death for the sins I've committed. And I'll go to my death gladly and with a peaceful heart. But please, grant me just a small piece of your everlasting mercy. Let me see my child once within your golden gates. Deliver me not to hell, but to purgatory. Allow me to atone for my sins there. I'll stand within the very flames of redemption no matter how they burn me. Forgive me for my wicked act of revenge. And deliver the soul of my poor murdered daughter. Please, also care for the soul of the girl whose life I have taken. God, I am a child, trembling with fear as I stare at death. my tortured soul with your infinite mercy. Please, forgive me. All right, then. So... So, what do we want to do? Do do, are, 
Are we forgiving or do we not say, do we ellipses? Do, do we squall it up? Like this, this is the first and only time in the whole game you are given like a multiple choice question ever. Like suddenly it becomes an RPG, right? Um, I don't know. I always, so what I always did is I would always do the forgive and it, this does have a consequence. But you know what? You know what? Why don't we just not say a darn thing? <laughs> no forgiveness. All right. So yeah, we just we just don't say anything. There's nothing more to be said. And there's also some cult scriptures. They don't look worth reading. Nice. Nice. Alright, well, yeah, so we... We offer no forgiveness. Mm. Let me re-equip that steel pipe, because I... The, the game auto-switches your weapon out sometimes. Which I do, I do find that to be an interesting touch. Like, when, whenever you have a cutscene where Heather pulls out her pistol, then you actually equip the pistol, like, for real. Huh. Well, there's... There's things in there. Hmm. Alright, it's locked. Very locked, but it has a... Yeah, it's, it's got a mechanism over there, so we'll we'll have to get something for that. Oh, look, there's just just a big one standing right there. Something's written here. There's a note stuck on the frame. But what I wanted to look at is, are there any... Like, th this looks to be a, a, a classroom. Just, just looks to be a classroom, but... Uh, I don't think there's anything I can do here, so let's keep it moving. Oh boy. Oh boy. So, uh, there's two of them. There are two of them. That's gonna, that's gonna get interesting. Let's try the mace out. Oh god. They hit hard. Like I am I, I am trying to go for the kill on this. Like this this mace is supposed to deal a ton of damage, but hell if I can get it to work, right? Hell if I can get this mace to work. It's supposed to deal all the damages, but is it dead yet? Is he dead? Yeah, he's he's deflating now. He's he's deflating. But I I did take a a dangerous amount of damage there. So so yeah, I really I really want to make the mace work. It does in fact deal a lot of damage. It's just the mace is a really awkward. It it's the great knife of this game. All right. Like, look, I don't have to kill them, but I want to, all right? Okay, back up. Okay, get in there. All right, just, just requires some careful play. Careful play! Oh, I... 
I, I couldn't pull the mace up quick enough. Alright, let's push past him and whack him. Whack him with that thing. Alright, he's going down again. So is he is he gonna die from this one or he's, he's taking a lot of kicks. There we go. There we go. Man, man, the uh the 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 insane cancers, uh they they take a lot of damage. They take a whole lot of damage. But I guess understandable we are in the last, you know, stretch of the game here, so. All right, all right. Um, let's switch back to the steel pipe. I feel I feel like I'm a little bit low on healing items, actually. I I feel like maybe I should have more healing items, and I don't, because I only have six healing items technically, and they are very good healing items, but still. Hey, okay, got me some some H gun bullets, and that looks like I should be able to pick it up. That okay? I got me a little tape. There are a bunch of papers in this file. I get the feeling that it's a handwritten copy of some book. It represents the deity known as the Halo of the Sun in heraldry, symbolizes a religious group. The two outer circles are Charity and Resurrection. The three inner circles are, represent... Wait, the three inner circles are represent... Or, oh no, are present, past and future. Man, how did my, my ability to read words just gave out on me there? Usually drawn in red, occasionally drawn in black or other colors, but blue reverses the meaning into a curse on God and is therefore forbidden. Hmm, Heather, Heather sees something. She, she sees something else. I guess it's just the door out. Is there anything else in here that we want to take a look at? Doesn't look like it. So we picked up a cassette tape, and there is no label on it. All right, but uh, this this area, <laughs> man, look at that! I took took him out. So yeah, this area is kind of it's kind of already in the nightmare version, kind of. Oh, yeah, look at that. Huh. There's a picture here of an angel flying into the heavens. Nothing special. I get the feeling there's something behind this picture, though. That girl's cries and footsteps disappeared beyond it, after all. Let's move the picture. Alright. So there, there is something behind there. So, uh, let's see, the chapel here, and how many floors to the chapel are there? Only two. There's, alright, so there's only two floors to the chapel, that's, that's not too bad. Um, before we go down there, let's see what's at the end of the, the hall here. Huh. Okay, what do we got here? Big ol' circle. The circle means reincarnation. That's what it said on that paper back there. So death isn't the end. Pretty good deal if you ask me. Thanks to reincarnation, I died as Alessa, but I'm still living as myself. But you know, just the thought of it starting to turn my stomach. And also, it's a save point! 
it's also a save point. <laughs> Okay, well, what do we got here? Saint Alessa, Mother of God, Daughter of God. This picture, that's me. I'm holding the baby. And I'm the baby being held. The me that wanted death and disappeared with God 17 years ago. And the me here and now that sought life. Hmm... A, a less exception. So, let's see what else we got in here. Saint Nicholas, miraculous hands, doctor of God. And Saint Jennifer, unwavering faith under death's blade. Hmm. Well, hey, save point, so. Let's make note of that. Which, I, I gotta say, there's a lot of save points here. I mean, if you really look at it, there's there are a lot of save points. I mean, the other save point is just, like, just down the hall, so... I mean, hey, I appreciate being able to save my game, but still. So, what's in the mystery door? I hear I hear things around here like I hear things I hear things but I don't see them Oh boy I uh, I think we're in for for something real fun in a second <laughs> Uh, how much ammo do I have? I've got 23 handgun bullets. That's probably not enough. That's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll deal with it. But, uh... Yeah. So, there's an elevator going down and a bunch of doors. Let's check all of them. Broken. Broken. That's the missionary. Yeah, it sure is. You remember him, right? <laughs> you remember all the fun times we had with him on the rooftop? You know, with Harry? Yeah. You know, when he, when he, when he killed Harry? But he's not... Yeah, he's... He ain't so tough now, alright? He's, he's been made humble. Just a few lead pipe wax will do it now. Still, still hurts when he hits you, though. Hurts a lot. Okay, where am I now? Oh no, look, the map is like, it, the map is... Well, how am I supposed to read the map now? It's, it's in the, you know, the little cartoon house in the background. Oh, that, the, that just ruins everything. It ruins it all for me. Huh. Silent Hills Ancient Gods. A study of their etymology and evolution. What a mouthful. Oh wow, this is gonna be a read, isn't it? There is no religion that has remained unchanged from the moment it was founded. This one is no exception. When this religion fell into the hands of immigrants, it was deeply influenced by their own original Christian beliefs. For example, the traditional representatives of these primal gods may be given the names and descriptions of Christian angels. Thus, shared characteristics begin to appear. There is also one rare example of the chief deity, creator of paradise, or lord of serpents and reeds, being dubbed with a demon's name. Of course, this was not done by believers, but by their opponents. Alright, informative. Hmm, what do we got over here? More more books and things, but that that definitely stands out. Got the moon tarot card. Oh. I 
you, Heather. You show up everywhere, don't you? You make me sound like some kind of unwanted pest. Well, who are you anyway? Haven't you realized that yet? Yeah, you're on Claudia's side. I told you not to put me in the same category as that mad woman. Well, you're pretty loony yourself. It's true. We believe in the same God. But I'm quite sane. So why did you help me out then? Was that also part of trying to resurrect God? It's not uncommon for people to worship the same God and still disagree. God? Are you sure you don't mean devil? Whichever you like. The point is that now I really am on your side. I don't want God to be born. It wouldn't be... convenient. Much too unpredictable. So you've been using me to stop Claudia, is that it? Do your own dirty work. My dirty work? I think we both had our own interests in mind. You hate her too, don't you? You're the only one who can get it done. I don't have powers like you two. Besides, I always hated getting all hot, sweaty. Oh, really? I'm just looking out for myself. Everyone does it. <laughs> don't stand there looking so smug. You're the worst person in this room. You come here and enjoy spilling their blood and, and listening to them cry out. You feel excited when you step on them and snuff out their lives. Are you talking about the monsters? Just a joke. By the way, I forgot to ask you. Did you get the seal of Metatron? What's that? You don't have it? Leonard was carrying it. You mean this thing? Yes, that's it. As long as we have that, we're fine. Here, take this. That one line, it's, it really is that, that one line that kind of, kind of throws a whole lot of doubt on a lot of things in Silent Hill. <laughs> you know the one. But anyway, we got a book of other world laws. But, but which one is better, other world law or ape law? I don't know. So, let's take a look. Um, a big old book I got from Vincent in the archives. So, what, what's the other world law? This magic square with strong protective and dispelling properties is called the Virun Seven Crest, or the Seal of Metatron. 
it will bring results regardless of whether the target is good or evil. Its strength, therefore, places a very high burden on the caster, as it is also difficult to control. It is not usually used. This is why it bears the name Met Metraton after the angel Metatron, or, or Metraton, also known as the Agent of God. So it's just kind of explaining that, yeah, this is a seal, seal, a seal of Megatron. All right, we got it. And I do believe that's pretty much all there is to see in the library. I, I believe so. Anyway, uh, let's see. Is there any, any other books in here? Ah, a book on tarot here. Tarot was based on the 22 Hebrew consonants and is said to represent the entire world. Each card, numbered 0 through 21, has a particular meaning. By reading these cards, fortune tellers predict the future. For example, the first card, the magician, signifies creation, wisdom, beginnings, or destruction and fraud. The second card, the high priestess, denotes intuition, harmony, faith, or dogmatism and arrogance. According to some texts, the Gardener deck had more than 22 cards. The Gardener deck does not exist today. It is mentioned only in the literature. It is said that these extra cards were based on lost Hebrew vowels and denoted an otherworldly transcendental existence, i.e. God. Look, I know I know all about, you know, the 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 arcanas, all right. I played Persona. I know. <laughs> all right. I I believe that's all we can do here. Um yeah, pretty pretty sure that's all we can do up in here. Apparently I missed a door. Uh, apparently I missed a door somewhere. I hope it wasn't too important. So, uh, can I use the elevator? Oh yeah, I can. So now we're down to floor two. But uh, we're, we're trying to get some cards and things for that door right there. That's where we want to go. But, yeah, let's see. We, we missed a door right there, and I really hope it wasn't anything important. <laughs> I really hope. But otherwise, down here. Okay, so let's check doors. I'm guessing that's the way out of this room. Uh, I'm guessing. I don't know, let's, I, I like to start in order. So, let's go here first. Yeah, darn me and my liking things in order. Huh. So there's a whole lot of interest outside of this window. Like, I, I gotta say, I wish I, I wish I could get a better camera angle of it, but, um... Where even are we? Because, it, like, we're supposed to be, like, in a little church, right? But, but there's just endless abyss, walkways going between it, like, it, everything's all hazy and red, I... Yeah, physically, where are we? I don't know. Oh, hey, it's, it's uh, the dead body storage room. Gotta have one of those. Alright, well, there are plenty shotgun shells. I'm gonna need it at some point. Hmm, let me get a good look at this. So, yeah, not, not the safest of storage here. The door's open. Inside, there's someone wrapped in a bag. Maybe... No, they're definitely dead. Yeah, no, no maybes about that. No, uh, no, no leaving that one to chance. But we got the Hanged Man Tarot card. And, uh, man, I gotta say, rooms like this. Rooms like this. In Silent Hill, it's like, oh, it's, it's what it's all about, right? 
corpse wrapped in some vinyl type bag. This crazy mixed up world has got me used to the strangest things. Easy for me to say, they're still totally disgusting. I feel like I'm gonna go crazy myself sooner or later. I might even already be crazy, who knows? Who knows? And welcome back, Input. <laughs> <laughs> all right again i just keep marveling at like the just bottomless pits i read things walk away i don't know there's so much there's so much to do about the geometry and layout of of this place i it's a lot to sink in okay there's only one door here yeah, only one. Oh, hey! This looks familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, so this is, um... So we're just right back in our house right now. Got a stun gun battery. Alright. This room looks just like Dad's. It's more than just a resemblance. Dad's not sleeping in the bed, though. Hmm. Is there anything else we can pick up or use? Why bother with the phone? I know it's not connected. So it's, it's a pretty fair, pretty fair assumption there. None of the books catches my eye. Although the bookshelf and books are all the same as Dad's. Alright, and I guess we can't look at the little, uh... Must be a diary. There's a, there's a musty diary on the bed. And yeah, you, you didn't miss too much input. You didn't miss too much. Um, we're just exploring church. This writing. Is this dad's diary? Why would it be here? I sometimes have the sense, even now, that that girl is a reincarnation of Alessa. I don't worry about it much now. That's all forgiven. You were unloved, Cheryl. Or was that Alessa? Now Cheryl is Alessa again. No matter whose reincarnation she may have been, that girl was my most beloved treasure. But that name was a mistake. At the time, I thought of her only as a replacement for my lost Cheryl. When she knows the truth, will she feel bad? That's what worries me. Thanks, Dad. So I was Alessa after all. But I do have just a trace of one more memory left. I haven't forgotten my sweet and gentle mother. Ah. Uh. And yeah, just church explorations input. Um, you, you can see it right here. Like, we're on the second floor of the church, and here's the first floor. Nice map. You know, we, we, we took a right past the bunny... And, and, you know, d d cornered around the sun, yeah. Okay, so that's about all there is here. We're just in a, just in a weird facsimile of the, the house that we left before coming to Silent Hill. Just, it's just here for some reason. Oh boy, I hear things. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I would rather not deal with him. Oh god. Would, would rather not deal with them because I'm pretty sure we never have to come down this hallway ever again. I, I'm pretty sure that is just a hallway you never need worry about ever again. <laughs> ever. Also, I need to watch my healing items because... The, fin the final boss of this game is actually not really all that hard, but but if I'm not careful, I'm going to need healing items, so I, I need, to, need to watch that. I'm, I'm running dangerously low, and that door is just barred off, so I don't have to worry about that. I like how the... Like, look, if you look down, there's more. There's more floors. It, it's like the, the church never ends. Oh, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, uh, before I go in here, 
Okay, I, I just like to make sure that I'm not missing anything. All right. Ow. So I, I have the strafe and, and hit technique here. Strafe and hit. But I'm. Th there's a lot of nasty things in here. There's a lot of nasty things. Okay. Oh, oh. It's not done. And my health is probably getting low. Ow. I really want to kill these things because I know I know I'm gonna have to come back here. I know I'm gonna have to come back. Oh, disgusting things. Absolutely disgusting things. Uh-oh, gotta reload, <laughs> gotta reload! Alright, they're down, they're down. But yeah, I, I figured it would be a good idea to take them out because, well, yeah, they're, uh... They're, we're gonna have to go through this room multiple times. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm sure they're gonna respawn at some point, but... But... Uh, might as well, might as well deal with that now so okay there's nothing there's nothing up there we we never have to go up up to the northwest part of the map ever again but what's through here hmm I hear enemies or something Well, I see that. I'm not 100% sure what I'm looking at, but I see it. That that looks to be some something choking out a nurse over there on the other catwalk. Um you know, I guess I guess let's just not worry about that. All right. No need to panic about that. So wait, wait a second. I just passed two doors. I, I didn't even I, I didn't even see the doors. Ah, uh, one here. Okay, wait a second. Is there anything in this room? There, there is another door. So let's carefully. Now, not every room in here, okay? You don't you don't have to go down every single room in this place. Okay, we got another We got another room with the footsteps. Okay, let's check this out. the the hospital room hmm familiar imagery here there's something stuck in this book oh hey it's a tarot card I got the fool tarot card G gotta work those s links this book hmm I feel like I have to read it 
but at the same time, I don't want to. Pronunciation. Aglophatus? 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 I don't really know. But what it is, is a red liquid or crystals resembling blood. According to the Kabbalah, the name is taken from an herb with the power to dispel evil spirits. It is said to grow in Arabian deserts. It may be vaporized or applied as poultice to guard against demons. It is powerful, but as it is rare, it is extremely difficult to obtain. Alright, so we we learned about a mysterious red liquid. Hmm. Oh, hey. Handgun bullets. All the H-gun bullets. All of them. And there's some drugs, but hold on. There's some kind of drug here. But there's just a name on the label. No description or anything. Too risky. Never mind. So she doesn't want to take, you know, unnamed medication. Oh. It's a picture of me when I was seven. I look bored and sad. Well, of course I do. I was always like that back then. Hmm, do, do we get a close-up? No, we, we do not get a close-up like in the first game. But what we do get is an ampule. Hmm. 24 years ago, my Dahlia used me to summon God. God was in my womb, but I couldn't deliver her. Then I was shut up here in this hospital room. I stayed here until Dad helped me out when I was 14. God ate away at me from within, driving me mad with suffering. There I was, wishing I could just die and be done with it. But I went on living that nightmare for seven years. Looking at this bed just reminds me of those awful days. And I don't want to remember them, because I'm not Alessa anymore. But Alessa is still me. I'm really not trying to deny it or anything. So a little little internal reflection from Heather here. But yeah, just a little side room and I I hear things, but that just might be the the thing choking out a nurse, you know, nearby. Or monsters could have spawned here, not sure. Could could be either one. Oh boy! Yep. Yeah, monster spawns. Of course, there's monster spawns. So yeah, I'm just I'm I'm being careful here. I'm. You dead? No. Man, they got they got some fight in them. Got got the fight in them. Also, I am getting low on shotgun shells, so I I need to be careful about that. It's a lot of kicks. They, they have a ton of help. Okay, I, uh, I took care of business. <laughs> so, we gonna deflate? There we go. So what do we got over here? This is, so this is a little something that perspective. And Heather has absolutely nothing to say about it. But if we, if we do a little camera adjustment here, so we're looking at... So, okay, like, where, where he's standing is not... Like, there's a doorway at the end of the hallway, but he's just... I, I don't even know what he's standing on, but he's standing in the doorway the, the wrong way, and then, and then there's that. He, he's twisting some valves, and then there's the, the, the two, two bodies behind curtains there you know, dangling about. You know, what, what exactly is going on? Not sure, but I like the perspective of whatever is happening here. Alright. Also symbolism, but let's not worry about that right now. 
because there's another one of them. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the map. So I need to leave this... Okay, I need to go through the next room and then take a left once I get back into the main hallway. All right. So I might be able to just run around this guy because we never have to come in here ever again. Like, we're, we're done with this hallway. Okay, yeah, everything gets really aggressive all of a sudden. Okay, yeah, there's the thing choking nurse out. And there's another doorway here, but it's broken, so we don't have to worry about that. Oh, hey, look, it's, uh... Hey, we know this room. There's a brass key. Bunch of tarot cards. Hey, drawing block. It's the book from the first game. The, the little sketch pad that uh, Harry found in, like, an alleyway. This is my sketchbook from 17 years ago. On the front cover here is a picture of Dad. Really awful work. What's this doing here? And, oh look, so this this is how we solve the puzzle. This is how we do it. So, uh, let's see. Okay, so we have, uh, we, we've got a couple of cards here, but like... Looks like, I don't know, the, the moon in the top right, the, I think that's the fool in the top left, I in the middle, hanged man in the bottom left, and I guess that's em empress in the bottom right. So let's, let's slot some of these cards that we got. Alright, I'll put the hanged man there. Uh, the moon, put that right there. The fool. And the eye of night. Okay. So, I I think we're only missing one more card. Obviously, if, if you were in a harder difficulty, then there would be more cards to work with. But, like, yeah, we're, we're good. So, one more card. And, oh, hey, look, some more notepads. More notepad documents. Hmm, a memo book. Something's written inside. She's just beyond this door. I don't know how, but I can sense it. But she's not the only one there. I sense the presence of something extremely dangerous, even sickening. Or maybe what they call God. Nevertheless, I will open the door. Enough of this idle chit-chat. God, I'm not, but I finally intend to save her. No, them. The last entry was written some 17 years ago. Dad wrote this too. So, so this is a really nice touch to the game. Um, so this, just like how in the amusement park, um, just like how the, the ice cream stand in the amusement park, that was like a shot-for-shot shot, like thing that was done in the first game. And the little notepad, which, you know, that's that's how we saved the game in the first one. And the notepad was there, and Harry had written things on it. Well, this this exact room Harry has also been in, in the first game. And, you know, the notepad, I think, was even in the exact same spot, too. It's just a nice little touch. It's a really nice little uh, piece of continuity that I appreciate. That's a closet. Meaningless to me. Don't have time to wax nostalgic about these old clothes. But there is a save point. I know it wasn't me. Alessa wrote this a long time ago. That chapel altar. It wasn't that one beautiful chapel. It was some other altar somewhere else. Hmm. And let's do a little safety save.
So yeah, I don't know. I I like little you know bits of continuity. I'm playing cards on the floor. I remember little Claudia always had a hard time winning. That made her cry. Uh Okay, so we got us a brass key. Now So this right here is like beyond here is end of game. But we need to do something first. We need to leave, go out the hallway, take a right. Yeah, so we need to go straight through the hallway, straight through the hallway again, get on the elevator, go up to the first floor, and then on the first floor, we need to go all the way back to here. So, this is going to be a bit of an adventure. And you know that there's been some monster repop. Like, they, they've repopped. You know it. Yeah, they're, they're not going to make this easy. You know, you know they ain't gonna make it easy. <laughs> Alright, so, uh... I'll stick with the... You know, I could use the stun gun. Hmm. Real quick, how does the stun gun, like, how does it work? So... I don't know, I mean... Oh wow, it takes a shot even, even when it doesn't actually do anything. Well, we'll try the stun gun out. We'll try it out, if we, if we have to. Only if we have to. <laughs> so, it's okay, this is good. They stayed dead. They, they stayed nice and dead. And now this goes back up to the first floor. Hopefully, the first floor enemies are staying dead, too. Hopefully. Okay. So from here... Alright, we take a right. And then it's just straight through the hallway. Straight through that hallway. Let, let's see if there's been some good respawns. Alright, from here, okay, we go straight through the door, take a right, and then a left. Yep. Navigation. Oh good, he's staying dead. I I'm happy about that. I oh yeah, nope, 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 nope. Oh god, oh god, all the nope. I got I got caught up on something on the floor. Whew. Whew. Well, th things look a little bit different in here. You know, thing things look a little different in in the the main part of the church here. There's uh there, there's some pixely blood running along the walls now and the floor the floor is wiggling. So uh that's that's not great. But the brass key works. So, what awaits me? Oh. Oh, it's a whole new hallway. Alright. I got my stun gun. I'm ready to... I'm ready to... I... Alright, well... You, I'll just leave him to do that. Um... Oh gosh, do I wanna, do I wanna fight him or, do I wanna fight him? I, I'm gonna have to, aren't I? Uh, there's a door right here. Oh hey, I don't, wait, what? How did he get behind me? How did he, how did he get behind me? Stun gun! Stun gun! So the stun the stun gun works. Um, the the stun gun seems to put them down in one hit. Maybe. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. So if the stun gun is a one shot, then uh, 
Yeah, I'll use it. Might as well. It's a handout with our classroom resolutions written on it. Doesn't say anything about abandoning your friends or scribbling on desks. So, oh hey look, we're in the school from Silent Hill 1! Well hey, ain't that nice. It's the exact same graphic from Silent Hill 1. It's, it's like the exact same picture of, of a desktop. Yeah, go home, drop dead, thief. Hmm. This used to be Alessa's. I mean, this was my desk once upon a time. It's a pretty old notebook on the podium. There's a letter stuck in here, too. Let's see. There's a girl named Alessa in my class. If your memory is any good, you may remember her. She's the one I said they called a witch. Most likely, her mother is abusing her. I've never seen her come in without some sort of scrape or bruise. Her expression is pitifully dark for a six-year-old. Something like this may not be so uncommon. Rather than coming up with pointless ideas, it's best to just... It's best just to watch and wait. But isn't there something I can do to help? I'm considering consulting a lawyer. But I do have my reservations. That's why I thought I'd ask you, my friend, for your opinion first. K. Gordon. Hmm. Hum. Alright, well, is there anything else in here? Oh, of course there is. Of course there's more in here. So that just kind of loops back around to there. Good to know. Oh, hey, we don't have to... So if we just never... If we just never get too close to him, we won't have to fight him. So maybe... Maybe we can just avoid having to, you know, w waste bullets and all that. What are these? Letters. Maybe a bunch of suggestions. People are starting to voice their dissatisfaction about Father Vincent. I, I bet you didn't know Vincent's an ordained minister. Using the organization's money for his own personal benefit. I've also heard rumors that Father Vincent has been extorting donations from some followers. Is he really the right person for such a position? I'm in mo no place to deny all he's done to make the organization grow. Even though we believe in God, if there were some sort of gathering, shouldn't we be valued not for our limited talents or our talkativeness, but for the depth of our faith? L.S. L.S. Alright, well, there's nothing else in here except... There's a tape deck here. It's perfectly usable. So, so um... Yeah, let me let me go ahead and pop my uh, let me let me pop my mixtape in here. Do you know about what happened here 17 years ago? You've been here a long time. You must have heard some details. A group of pagans, blinded by earthly desires, spit in the very face of God. They tried to use the seal of Metatron to prevent God's awakening. But God drove the unbelievers away and threw them into the abyss. But due to their wickedness, God was unable to be born properly. And so she has slumbered ever since in the womb of the Holy Mother. Until the time of the awakening. That's all that I know. That's it, huh? Well, thanks. Father Vincent, I heard that the Holy Mother has been found. Is it true? Alessa has been found? Did Claudia say that? Yes. Then it must be true. Her sight rarely fails her. Bless the Lord. Maybe it's because of her great faith. But I could never be like her. 
I wouldn't want to. Nor I. The truth is, Sister Claudia frightens me a little. Well, now, let's both show our faith by forgetting about this little talk, okay? Yes, but does that mean this land will finally be the home of eternal paradise? If God wills it, my sister. If God wills it. Hmm. Exposition. I don't think you actually have to... I don't think you actually have to go in this room, but hey, always nice to get some exposition. Uh, let's see, there's one more door over there. Oh boy, nope, turn around. That's a, that is a nope turn around moment right there. When you, you go into a room and there's like three missionaries just running around. Nope, nope, that's, 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 that's a lot of nope. So here's the last uh, the last tarot card that I needed. So we can we can beat the game now. The name Claudia Wolf is written very small on the cover. It's her diary. Oh boy, let's let's read Claudia's diary. <laughs> uh input. <laughs> All right, November 10. She didn't die then. She was born. I knew that for a fact. But then why haven't I found her yet? They were supposed to need her power to build paradise, or the happiness of the people. She was supposed to be reborn for that. I'd really like to see her. November 14th. Read, or read The Book of Praise. I want to thank Father for lending me such an invaluable book. I've found that I've been searching for in there how to awaken God, but it's much too cruel. Will I be will I be able to pull it off when I see her? November sixteenth. I was free all day, so I read a modern history of refugees and young slaves, child exploitation. I don't want to be a mere bystander in this world. I can't do anything now though, and that's what's hard. Hmm, little Claudia backstory too. And what's what's this? There's an old birthday card on the desk. So she was still hanging on to this. Oh, there there you go. To little Claudia, happy sixth birthday. I love you as if you were my real sister. Here's to you. So presumably that's the card for, from Alessa to Claudia. All right, and I, I suppose this is just her room here in, in the cult basement. All right. So that's all we need to do here. So, so now, to get to the end, all we have to do is make our way all the way back down here. That's all we got to do. All right. So uh, let's hope the respawns haven't been too aggressive. All right. So we just leave, go straight down the hallway, Take a right, straight down. It's pretty much straight down the hallway each time. Oh, I was hoping I could get around him. I was hoping I could just get around. Zap him! Okay, I, I can't seem to push him aside I was really hoping I could push him aside but it doesn't look like that's gonna work I can you blame me for trying can can you blame me for trying so uh, I only have the only healing items I have is five ampules that's that's all I got so uh, yeah, I'm going to equip the shotgun so that if anything, if anything stands between me and and getting to the end, I I just I just blast it away. All right. Okay, from here, yep, take a right. 
And and yeah, it's it's a shame when the enemy is physically too large to push away. Oh boy. Somehow I didn't take damage. Somehow. Alright, from here... Oh yeah, I never went in here. No, it's broken. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's painted on. Alright, I'll... You know, I'll take a save real quick, just in case. Just in case I mess up really bad and, and take a ton of damage. Um, before I get to the final boss, I... Yeah, I, I want to save. Alright, so we just back up a little bit. Mmm, I'm... You don't know how much I'm hoping that nothing respawned. You don't know how much I'm hoping for that. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Everything is just wiggling around. That's different. Okay, and from here, we just take a left, and it's the second to last door. Second to last door, and then the last door. I, I love this effect, though. It's, it's, a, it's a real nice effect, I have to say. I hear things. I hear them. Okay, from here, from here, we just need to get to the end of the hallway. That's all we gotta do. Alright. Nice. No, nothing stood in my way. So this is it. This is um this is a finale. This be a finale. Well, first off, let's save game. Now, I'm going to try something. I'm going to I'm going to try just meleeing the final boss. I'm gonna give my shot at that. So, like, the, the mace is probably what I'll use. But, let's slot the last tarot card in there. Alright, doors open. I am ready for a finale. I am ready for it. Down the... Time to go down the bloody hallway. The, the blood and rust hallway. two of you to die, that would be nice. Then I could relax. When did you stop believing in God? God lives. Just look around you. But I do believe in her. In my own way. I fear her, and I adore her. But I haven't lost my mind like you. You think that this is the work of God? Isn't this all nothing more than your own personal nightmare? Just like Alessa 17 years ago? If this really is the work of God, then I'd say she has lousy taste. You mock God? Traitor. You will go to hell. Not that 
again. Who do you think you are claiming to know God's will? Go home, Vincent. Home? This church is my home. I built it with my power. The power of money that you view with such scorn. Although, I admit that this atrocious scenery is all yours. If you continue to get in my way... Then you'll kill me. Well... <laughs> well... The guest of honor has arrived. Let's get this party started. Heather, go ahead and kill this crazy bitch. This demon who claims to speak for God. The time has come. You can kill her now. You go to hell! What did you do? Mm, nothing important. You're not going to run? I guess this is the end. No, the beginning. As Vincent said, the time has come. Vanessa, I'm saddened that you didn't agree to this on your own. Thank you for nurturing God with all the hate in your heart. It's time for mankind to be released from the shackles of sin which bind them. But a God born from hatred can never create a perfect paradise. Happy people can be so cruel. Is it so hard to believe that sympathy could be born out of pain and suffering? Why do you reject God's mercy? Why do you cling to this corrupt world? You know that only God can save us. And save you too? Happy ending? That's fine. Vanessa, my dearest. For the pain that I've caused you, I deserve no mercy. Even if it was to save mankind. It was too deep a sin. It was hubris for me to try to hasten the day of feel so guilty about it. Why don't you go to hell? Heather, use the seal. Vincent? The seal of Metatron? Now your stupid dream is over. Oh, that's just a piece of junk. What do you think you can do with that? Do you really think it can kill God? I'm sorry to see you fell for my father's foolishness. What? You're pathetic. Pain 
will disappear. Waiting so long for this. Even as a child, I knew I would see the coming of this day. I knew I would be a witness to it. Judgment Day! Oh man, this lot just happened, but okay. So I know your your instinct here, right? Your instinct is bust out your giant spiked mace and and just go to town on Claudia, right? I, I know that's your, but no, that is the wrong course of action. In fact, there's uh, so, so the thing is, there's, there's only one action here that will not result in a very gruesome death scene. So, uh, well, we we happen to have a thing. We we happen to have the pendant, g given on birthday, right? Now, I know what you're also thinking, the, the talisman, the seal of Megatron over here. You know, Autobots assemble, I don't know, but like, look, it doesn't do anything. The, the, the seal does nothing here, all right? The seal, which is hyped up like crazy, is in fact a useless junk item that doesn't do anything. It's a red herring. So, pendant. Looks like God didn't make it. Stop! God is... Claudia!
So, so yeah, then, and 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 then Heather vomits up God, and Claudia eats 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 it, and then all that happened. Oh goodness! But yeah, that happened. That was a thing. Although, hey there, hey there, Zeke. But um, okay, yeah, it's a, a lot of things just happened. But we're we're in for time to end it. Time to end it. So I'm. I'm gonna try my luck with meleeing the final boss with the mall. I've never really tried that, and I figure, hey, why not? I, I got five ampules, and that's all the healing items I have, so... So let's give it a shot. You got five ampules, a bulletproof vest, I got this. I'm sure we won't have to redo this ten times. It, nah, it's all good. So let's get in there. Just get in there. So, so this is what I call a nice boss arena. Mm. Yeah, so this this is it. <laughs> sure looks pretty, don't it? So uh, mechanics, mechanics. So little fire spurts happen, and then I forget how. Okay, we'll figure how this works sooner enough. All right, sooner enough. Okay, here we go. Whack it in the head. Just, just bonk it right over the head with the mall. <laughs> this is this 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 sure is a boss fight, all right. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing whack-a-mole here. It's great. Uh, but yeah, let's let's pop that ampule. All right, gotta gotta play it safe. Gotta play it safe. So the fires, the fires should come back around. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. So yeah, it's not not too tricky. Not too tricky. All right, time to bonk it. Whack a mole time. Hmm. Supposed to deal real good damage. Supposed to. <laughs> I just love it. It's just bonking, you know, the model of Alessa's head on the it's bonking it. Uh, do I have... I think I could... Could I take one more hit? It is flashing pretty hard here. Alright, it's flashing pretty, pretty hard, pretty intense. But I'm, I'm hoping my ampules... I'm hoping my ampules will, uh, will hold out for me here. So yeah, the, the the final boss fight is uh, kind of easy. As, as as long as you just keep moving, I don't think it can hurt you. Yeah, here we go. Bonk. <laughs> Ow. I I think I got this. I can get like two hits in, then it wants to swipe me. Oh, okay. So I, I guess just keep that in mind: two hits, and then it swipes. So uh, maybe I should I should like back up and try to you back up and try to run a little bit. 
uh, after I do a second swipe through. So yeah, as long, as long as I'm standing back here, I should be okay. Time to bonk. Once. Twice. Try to run. Oh, oh, it's, uh, oh, oh, nice, nice. I can do the fires, uh, all right, bonk. A little, little too far away. Ow. Okay, look, let's just keep bonking it. Oh, I missed, I missed out on some shots there. I missed out on some hits. That's a shame. And hey there, UL. Just, just having me a nice final boss fight. I'm, I'm making it a little harder on myself by just fighting it with the mace. You know, make, making things a little, a little more difficult for me. But uh, I figure, why not? Okay, it should come down now, right? Yep. Okay, yeah, after that hit. Okay, let's not uh, let's not get too greedy for damage, shall we? Don't don't want to get too greedy. Okay. So yeah, I think just take like two swipes, right? How about how about this? We'll take like two shots with the mace and uh, and then we'll pull out. So I think it does the fire twice and then it falls down. Nope, nope, it's not done with the fire yet. It's not done with fires. No map of area. How much does the fire... The fire deals good damage to me. Okay. Alright. Time to run? Oh, no. No time... No time to run. Just always. Might be getting too greedy on damage here. Might be, might be getting too greedy. I, I really wanna, I really wanna kill it with the mace, but I might not, I might actually not have enough healing items to do that. But I really wanted to just do this with the mace, J just for fun, right? But again, I might, I might be in over my head. Fall down. Yep, yeah, there, there it goes. So I'm just, I'm hoping this will kill it. There we go. Victory. At the end, guess it's time to roll the credits.
are still alive. The whatever. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just a joke. <laughs> You've got terrible taste. I'm sorry. <laughs> Heather, did you... You don't have to call me that. I'm not hiding anymore. You want me to use your real name? What was it again? Cheryl. The name my father gave me. Are you gonna let your hair color go back too? I don't know. Don't you think blondes have more fun? That's certainly an ending, isn't it? <laughs> Just what, what a line to end it on, right? That's what you expect out of your Silent Hill, isn't it? <laughs> Although, I, I gotta say, Heather doing the little fake out with the knife, that's just... Heather's kind of an asshole. That's that's like the last thing you do in that situation. But hey, here's here's your your roll credits. And uh, UL things is good. Things is good. But uh, so the okay the ending of Silent Hill three there there's only there's only three endings to this game. One of them is a joke. One of them is the one we got, and the other one so. The reason why there is that whole, like, fake out with the knife is that if you... I, I believe what you have to do to get the other ending of the game is you have to you have to take a ton of damage. Like, you have to willingly get hit. And also, you have to kill a lot of enemies. Like, you've got to kill a whole bunch of... You basically, kill everything you see. And also get hit a lot. And... And yeah, you uh, that that gives you the ending where, when she meets up with Douglas at the end, there, um, the only difference to the ending is is um, yeah, when she goes back to Douglas, she's got the knife and it's all bloody, and and no, she actually killed him, uh, which I don't know that that makes a whole lot of sense, you know, given context, but it's a thing. And you really gotta, you know, you, you, you really gotta, you, you gotta work for that other ending. I mean, it's you're not very likely to get it just playing the game like normal. And yet, John, you're well, you're a little late for this, but we're gonna have a little, little after party. And uh, you all have have not tried yet. Have not tried yet. Um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it uh, a little bit either later today, or I might look at it. Uh, either, I'd say I might look at it a little bit after XCOM tomorrow. How about that? Like, on the stream. Uh, might check it out. Hmm. And yeah, I guess input, that is a way to look at it. I mean, yeah, Heather gets more of a taste for murder. The more she kills, like, the, the more it... Well, what's funny is, is that it's also... It's how much you kill things, and it's also how much damage you take as well. So... That's... I don't know, it's a little muddy there. Like, so, so the more she gets the more she gets beat up, and the more she beats other things up, both contribute to that ending. Yeah, the... The chaotic evil path. I I feel like the ending we got is the chaotic neutral ending. I, I feel like that's the chaotic neutral ending that we got. Because man, just again, blondes have more fun. That's the end, right? Like that's a little. Eh. So I wonder, I wonder if I can skip through the credits because I've said my piece. I like this game. It's a direct sequel to one, but I like the combat in this game. I, I like the overall, 
combat and the setting of this game the most, but I, Silent Hill 4 is kind of my favorite. Either way, I wonder if I can skip, because there's definitely things after the credits. There's definitely something I want to take a look at. Here we go. So, we got a 3 out of 5 stars. Hmm. So yeah, 3 out of 5 stars, that ain't bad. Uh, hmm. So it, it takes into account my, uh, yeah, it take, takes into account my clear time of 6 hours, 34 minutes. Uh, it takes into account how long it takes you to kill every single enemy in the game. Hmm. Oh yeah, look, the number, the number of saves here, and I guess I gotta... I guess my total rank was six stars. Six out of ten, I guess? But, yeah, so, item number, 160. So that was like, look at that, I got, I got all the stars on that one. Defeated an enemy by shooting. Defeated enemy by fighting. So, so yeah, I guess you, I guess they rank you for both, so I, I suppose you want to kill enemies both by shooting and fighting? Yes. Hmm. My total damage dealt. So see, that's what contributes to that other ending. So that's my my total dealt, and I was on action level normal, so that gives me three out of five stars, and easy gives you one out of five stars. So I'm guessing, yeah, easy is one star, normal is three stars, and then and, and then yeah, hard is five stars. Okay. Yeah, so let's let's see what we get. So, extra new game has been added to the start screen. So, yeah, we have extra options now. Play from there to see and enjoy extra features. Starting from new game, we'll begin a new game without the extra features. You've fulfilled the conditions for the hidden weapon, Beam Saber. Yes, we Yes, we have just unlocked a lightsaber. It is just straight up a lightsaber. It, it It's like a, a really intense damage weapon, a melee weapon that just... It, like, it, it one, to, one to three shots enemies, and it knocks them down like every hit. It's it's crazy. Yes, now, now Heather is in fact a Jedi. Also, also... I have fulfilled the conditions for the hidden weapon, unlimited submachine gun. So yes, an unlimited SMG. You just hold down the fire button and it just keeps shooting forever. Yep. Extra costume has been added to the start screen. If you select this and enter the password, you can get a new costume. All right, so I got the extra costume password. Happy birthday. So, so you have to actually write down the, the word, but like, yeah, happy birthday, so there's, so guess what, there are alternate costumes for Heather, quite a few, actually. Do, do you wish to save play results? Sure, why not? I'll save them. You know, why, why not? Why not? So, there's, there's my results, I'll, I'll post that to the leaderboard. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, that is, um, yeah, I know, right? Like, uh, Silent, Silent Hill 3, I would honestly say that Silent Hill 3, out of all the Silent Hills I've ever played, it has the most, like, special unlockables. I, I really do. I think it has the most special unlockables. Although Silent Hill 4 also has a lot of special unlockables. But, like, this is the only one where there's alternate costumes and, and, uh, just really off-the-wall stuff. Like, um, like, I haven't even unlocked the, the, uh, the Heather Beam. Which, like, the Heather Beam is just, it's a special weapon which you hold the, you, you hold the attack button down. It, it, or, oh yeah, how it works is, is you just hold the attack button down and then... Heather does, she strikes like a, a pose and she shoots laser beams out of her eyes. <laughs> like, it's nonsense like that. So, yeah. The, no, no, none of her outfits are skimpy. None of, 
None of Heather's outfits are skimpy. The only one that's like kind of questionable is the uh, the sexy beam outfit. The the sexy beam outfit it, it upgrades the Heather beam into the sexy beam, and it makes her dress like a I don't know like a like a Sailor Moon character, but it's not skimpy. <laughs> And, and yes, UL, I saw, I saw, but uh, anyway, I, I still like, so when it comes to Silent Hill 3, I think this game, honestly, out of all the ones on the PlayStation 2, I think this game looks the best, I think it has the most special options, and it also has the extreme difficulty modes too. So I'd say out of all of them, Silent Hill 3 really does have the most, it has the most post-game content. Um, I, I, definitely, I think it has the most post-game content. But anyhow, that's all for for Silent Hill 3, and also that's all for the the spook, you know, the the spooky October month games, except for a little something special tomorrow to end it out on. But uh, that hope it's been a fun October month, one and all. T till next year. But okay, now, we're not done yet. We are not done with the stream today. That is not...